So now we will see like how to draw or draft some objects using the coordinate system in AutoCAD. So before that, I will try to draw the objects first with dimension. Later with that, uh, we can able to go for AutoCAD and we can able to draft over there. So consider this object where we are going to have 10, 10, 10. But here we are going to have 5, 5, 5. So that the total, it will come 15. But here it will come 30. Now we will see how to draw this one using AutoCAD, using absolute coordinate system. So we will consider now this one as 0, 0. OK, so as usual, we need to go for L, Enter. Then it is asking for first point. First point, we will consider 0, 0. Next point, we need to refer the image that we had. OK, in that horizontally, we need to move 30. So I am putting 30, 0. OK, now we need to go vertically. So how much? It is 5. So we need to put 30 in X and then 5 in Y. Now we need to go 10 in left verge. So which means 30 minus 10, we need to put 20, 20 comma 5. Now again, we need to move 5 in the vertical direction. In that case, same 20, but we need to put 10 here. Okay. Like that again, I will put another 10 minus, right? So I will put a 10 comma 10. Okay, again, we need to go in the, so we need to put 10 comma 15. Okay, again, we need to go this way, then uh, we need to put 0 comma 15. Okay, then we can go for close command or again, we can able to put 0 comma 0 and escape. Now, this is what the object. Now, this is what the object that we planned for. To check the dimension, you can just go for control 1. So click like this, then it will be always in the left side. Now you can just click the line and you can just go below and you can able to see the length 5. And then length 10. And then length 5. So length 10, 5. So 10. So totally this is supposed to come 15 and this is supposed to come 30. So everything you can make use of property. For that shortcut, control one or PR enter. If you are putting PR enter, the property it will come. Otherwise, another shortcut also there. I will try to close it. Now I will put a control one, then the properties it will come. If you are putting PR enter, then also the properties it will come. Okay, now we will consider another object. So which is having dimension of 10 here and then 2 here. So 5 here and this dimension we can take some uh, 7. And then this dimension here we will consider as 2. Okay, with this information we are going to draw this object. But now the first point here it is like a 10 comma 10. So accordingly, the next points it will vary because this one like a 10 comma 10 and then this point we need to take a uh, 10 plus 10, 20 comma 10. And this one we need to add 2 plus. So this it will come 20 comma 12. Like that we need to complete this drawing. Okay. So here the distance we need to calculate using this one. So 10 minus 2, like uh, 8. So 4 here. So at this point, it's supposed to be. So 20 minus 4. So it's supposed to be 16, comma 12. And then here again, it is having 7, right? So 7 in y direction. So it is supposed to be 16, comma 12 plus 7, 19. And here, it's supposed to be. So in horizontal, you can take 20 itself. So 20, comma 19. And here it is like a 20 comma 19 plus 5, 24. And here it is like a 0, not 0. Here it is 10, right? So 10 comma 
24. And again here, this point, it's supposed to be 10, 19. And here again, it's supposed to be, so 16 minus 2, 14, 14, 19. And here again, this is like the uh, same 14, but in uh, Y, it's supposed to be 12 because 19 minus 7, 14 minus 14, 12. And again, this point, if this is again 10, 12. The final point, 10, 10. So this we need to draw in the AutoCAD. So as usual, we will start with the L enter. First point, 10, 10. So it is automatically going to the 10, 10. Okay. Otherwise, we will try to delete this object. Control A and then hit delete. Then it will delete all the objects. Otherwise, you can select a few objects and you can hit delete button to delete some objects. Now I will go for L enter. First point, 10, 10. Okay. See, now it is just taking the first point away from X, Y because the UCS icon, which is like uh, situated in 0, 0, so that we can able to see our point, it is coming somewhere. That point is 10, 10. Okay. Now the next point, we can just go for 20, 10. Again, like the another point, 20, 12. And then 16, 12. And then 16, 19. And then 20, 19. And then 20, 24. And then 10, 24. And then 10, 19. And then 14, 19 and then 14 comma 12 and then 10 comma 12 now 10 comma 10 see now we completed our object so like this we can able to make use of absolute coordinate system but for a big drawings this is not applicable this is only to know the concept and basics so we can able to draw 0 comma 0 also and we can also draw some other origin based on that origin we need to calculate our coordinates in absolute, it's completely like uh, it will start with 0, 0. So accordingly, you need to calculate the coordinate and you need to draw the object. So here we have a start point, which is halfway from 0, 0. Still, we can able to draw and we made it possible. So kindly keep that in your mind when uh, using absolute coordinate system. And again, you need to go to draft setting. And here in dynamic input in settings, you need to mention absolute coordinates. This also we discussed already. So you need to keep that in your mind and click OK. And then okay then only we can able to draw on the basis of absolute coordinates otherwise it will automatically take relative coordinates 